Chinyere Okonkwo is a clinical psychologist with Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba, and she says domestic violence is not gender-based. The reason why domestic violence continues to occur with such um, alarming frequency in the Nigerian landscape, across the Nigerian landscape, is the fact that uh, many people refuse to adopt an objective mindset which should reflect what today's narrative about domestic violence um, depicts and that's basically that more than ever it's a human problem and not a gender-based problem all right i'm going to let you listen to a clip i've taken out of a tvc documentary uh titled table turns are men now in danger all right and in that you'll see that documentary um, there's a link to it in the description for this video and which you see the reports about women that were killing their husbands Actually, i think this happened around the lockdown i'm not sure around the lockdown period but they were killing that they i mean some several women the reports about them killing their husbands and then the explanation as to all the interviews and reports about why that happened then you, you the clip you're going to listen to is of a um professional a clinical psychologist in one of nigeria's uh, top institutions for mental health and you hear what she has to say about domestic violence and its relation to being uh, whether or not it's gender based all right when you listen to that then i'll come and make my comments after that chinyere okonkwo is a clinical psychologist with federal neuropsychiatric hospital yaba and she says domestic violence is not gender based it can come from male it can come from female and it doesn't know age either it can cut across all ages okay so it's important to begin to pick, observe, be observant with people around you. Know when there are behavior changes that are quite inappropriate and could signal problem. According to her, there are signs spouses should look out for. Somebody who has problem with controlling his emotion, anger emotion, okay, that person can be prone. Somebody who has uh, overbearing character, you know, if you have such a person around you, you, you know that there is tendency. Manslaughter and murder are offenses against the state. And while the penalty for manslaughter is not more than 21 years in prison, murder attracts life in prison. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. All right, now you've heard her, but I know that the minutes she said this, some people would jump and, and present the argument that, oh, look, those women, the thing is they are fighting. In fact, inside this documentary, by the way, the documentary I just played, the full documentary contains uh, the contribution by a lady who runs an NGO for women, I think it's mainly for women and kids. And she was making that exact point that the reason why domestic violence is on the rise is because women are now fighting back and she made no acknowledgement whatsoever of the fact that there are valid instances of men who have not done who, who have been victims i mean authentic victims of abuse by their female partners so she's they don't want to acknowledge that and that's where the problem is so let me offer you uh, a definition this one this was due to debates in the west so this journalist uh, so not just journalist, this researcher okay the lady had published a paper again i'll put the link right you'll be able to see more about it uh so this is a paper a pdf and the lady had put in a uh written a paper in which she was highlighting the fact that men were almost equally victims of abuse in today's world than it used to be in the past and she got a lot of clap back from that she got a lot of pushback from the uh from the population uh, because there was this sentiment that no it couldn't be and if it was it was because those men were the men who were busy beating their wives who now turned around and then in self-defense attacked the man and unfortunately maybe injured the man or killed the man but a, a co um, a colleague of that lady who's a man now because they both did the paper they did the work together so in responding to some of the comments and criticism he now wrote a paper i think he presented it in which he first of all defined what a battered man was you know we have the concept of the battered woman so the concept of the battered man was a bit strange so he defined it and he made it clear you see the definition which i'm going to show on your, show on your screen now you see the definition all right and the goal of that definition was of course to clarify the issue people were referring to 
which was that um, and the, the women were the ones who were really the victims even when the man was killed the only thing was that the man was uh, uh, physically attacking them in that t- at that time that's why he was the one that got killed so she was still a victim of abuse it was so that she was fighting back and that's why she inadvertently or accidentally killed the husband i think they call it manslaughter so that's the point they he, he, he now addresses in this definition i want to read it out to you now who is the battered man i put that title but this is i'm quoting him now indeed men are hit by their wives they are injured and some are killed but are all men hit by women battered no men who beat their wives who use emotional abuse and blackmail to control their wives and are then hit or even harmed cannot be considered battered men a battered man is one who is physically injured by a wife or partner and has not physically struck or psychologically provoked her okay and this like i said this is in the paper it's a pdf the link is right there right at the bottom you can see it i'm going to post it in the description box for this video you can see the name of the gentleman richard j jealous he is the um colleague to the lady who wrote the the bigger paper with whom we wrote the bigger paper where they were talking about how men were also victims of abuse and all that at the hands of women so he's on in the place where he made this statement in a, a, a presentation called domestic violence not an even playing field now here's what i've added at the bottom with the yellow background i've said to define a battered woman replace man or men with woman or women wives with husbands her with him in the above definition now i've said that because and i would let me even read this out with that modification made indeed women are hit by their husbands they are injured and some are killed but are all women hit by uh, men battered you see I've, I've reversed everything now women who beat their husbands who use emotional abuse and blackmail to control their husbands and are then hit or even harmed cannot be considered battered women a battered woman is one who is physically injured by a husband or partner and has not physically struck or psychologically provoked him it's the same thing we are all human beings we all have tear glands boys can cry girls can cry so can men and women there is no distinction in fact if we go by what the modern women of today say what a man can do a woman can do better that includes violence that includes violence i do not know why the women want us to see them as frail and fickle when actually they want us to believe that they can also stand side by side with men and go to war and do all these different sports at an equal level and get the same pay for living they can climb houses they can construct therefore women are telling us they have the capacity to function at the same level of as men physically and otherwise that is the argument they do not consider themselves the weaker sex they've said it repeatedly why do they then want to be seen as the vulnerable ones when it comes to relationship between a man and a woman it doesn't make sense you cannot apply double standards one minute you want to be treated with equality you want people to to give you all your rights and let it be equal to that of men the next minute you wanted to be treated treated as if you don't have bones in your body it doesn't make sense so we need to drop this gender war it doesn't make sense each of us very often will have one at least one male loved one it may not be a child it may not be a cousin or nephew it could be a, a, a an uncle you know somebody you love your father every one of us has a male loved one at least one very rarely will you find somebody who does not have any male person in his life same thing applies to women so if you have a male love person in your life then why would you want to perpetuate the myth that men are the ones that are abusive and women are not it's 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 illogical and it does not represent reality and we know it for a fact there are bad women there are bad men it's as simple as that now let's deal with the issue bad people need to be corrected period enough of this nonsense this is one of the reasons why we're not succeeding with the fight against violence because even the abusive people know that we have this problem so they play on it a lot they play on it a lot a bad woman will teach her child to be bad if she's not corrected and then the bad child may be a boy or a girl she will teach her boy to abuse somebody's daughter what do you do about that if she has power and influence she will protect her boy that is why some people they have money when their son beat up the, the wife they leave him because the, the woman has four friends in the, maybe the police or whatever and they just get him out of jail and the woman goes with all the injuries we've heard of cases like that where women were suffering we forget that that person has a, a mother quite often you hear of mothers who are supporting their sons no matter how bad bad what they do is it is because we perpetuate the myth the minute we begin to treat this thing the way it needs to be treated a human being that does wrong should be corrected period there's no need for story now let me end with this i live in another society as well 
apart from Nigeria, which is Benin Republic for the most part. Though as I travel, I, I will be touching on other places, and I have in the past. But I just want to give the example of Benin Republic. A friend of mine used the saying, I'm going, I've used it in another video, I'm going to use it in this video as well. Agbofero, uh, Mubamon, which is the average citizen in this country that you see walking around he was talking to me i was at we were at the his uh, where he was working uh he's a local forex dealer he was telling me each one of them the citizens in that country on the average is a functions like a local enforcement look uh, a law enforcement agent you see and so if you are doing any naughty things according to him he said they are just going to pick up the phone and call the police or get take a walk down to the police station and report you they do not tolerate people misbehaving in their society they either call you to order or they report you and believe me the police over there they are nothing like the ones in nigeria it isn't that they are angels but believe me they do and uphold the law and they do enforce discipline so if they find you if you are caught of you or you are found wanting in with regard to obeying the law over there the law works and believe me no matter how big you are they will bring you to your knees if you are found wanting and that is why over their behavior is so predictable people are always walking in line with the law nobody is trying to step on anybody it doesn't matter how small the person is everybody knows they have a right to exist the problem in nigeria is that people have power to even influence the so-called activists and get them to turn the law into the so-called lawyers the so-called medical professionals the so-called government agents are willing to just some assault figuratively speaking in terms of their uh, carrying out their jobs when they just get influenced by these people they know they can buy their way out of trouble and that's why the abusers continue to grow stronger and larger in numbers the minute we refuse to compromise this whole thing will die can we all just stop and first of all agree that abusers cannot be differentiated by uh, cannot be determined by way of gender it's not gender based the most domestic violence is not gender based men and women can equally be abusive and violent let's deal with them as human beings thank you yes so let me without further ado i have some guests in in the building today uh, that um, we would also want to honor, but thank God that they are living and they are people who have gone through and uh, would want to share their story briefly. So uh, first, they say ladies first, we have Mrs. Olaide Kayot Yomoshebi. That's from your sister company. I'm trying to know that name from. Good morning. Yes, that is my wife. Uh, we have um, Mr. Tayo Sholabade here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, so welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, we have Mr. Wale Ibiduni, who is Mr. Tayo's uncle, who came to give us some moral support. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, firstly, I would want to.